this is Chris Bidet who's a like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bidet, who's a follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both my TikToks, so I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my AEW Dynamite October 18th, 2023 reviews. So here we're going to be discussing about tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite, and now we kick off the show with the first match of the night. It was uh, Jay White with... Uh, Austin, Colton Gunn, The Guns, and Juice Robinson, Bullet Club Gold versus Penta El Cero Miedo with Alex Abrahantes at ringside. So yeah, uh, right when the match starts, actually before the match even starts, we see Penta already in the ring. Uh, Bullet Club Gold is already at ringside, and then Penta jumps over the top rope with a front flip senton onto Bullet Club Gold but Miss Jay White, and then Jay White and him starts going at it outside of the ring. They go uh, back into the ring, and they finally get the match underway. So, yeah, it was just going back and forth between these two guys uh, coming up near falls and everything. We see the guns, and Juice Robinson kept on trying to interfere in this match a lot of times. Uh, at one point, we actually see Jay White hit the Uranagi Slam onto Penta, and then lifts him up and hits a Brain Buster onto him. He pins him one, two, Penta barely kicks out at two, and then we see uh, Jay White pick him up, try to hit the uh, Blade Runner onto him, then Penta fought out of that, and hits that uh, move, I forgot what it's called, I guess it's the Fear Factor, or whatever, where he lifts him up and flips him, he hits that move onto Jay White, he pins him, one, two, Jay White barely kicking out at two, like I said, going back and forth and everything, and then Penta lifts him up, uh, try to hit the package power driver onto him up until we see uh, one of the guns. I think it was Austin Gun try to slide into the ring. The referee's distracted by that. Uh, and Penta looks over at uh, Juice Robinson, which he was on the ring apron. And Juice Robinson punches him in the face. And then we see Jay White hit the blade around their own to Penta. And then he pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Jay White defeated Penta El Seto Mieto tonight on AEW Dynamite. That's what happened. Great match, though. Uh, I will give that match three and a half stars as well. Give it, but then as the match ended, Jay White grabs the mic and he says that MJF is not even here tonight and all that stuff. If he wants back his AEW World Heavyweight Championship, he has to come and face the real world champion at full gear. So, yeah, that's what uh Jay White was talking about. But then all of a sudden, Juice Robinson starts talking. Juice Robinson was talking about how he is going to be entering into the Dynamite Diamond Ring Battle Royale, and he says he's going to win that Dynamite Diamond Ring, even though it's not even better than his uh, $25 TJ Maxx ring. So, yeah, that's what Juice Robinson was saying. And, yeah, he says that he's going to win his ring, uh, MJF's ring, put it on his finger, and punch MJF in the face. So, yeah, that's what Juice Robinson said, and they walk out. And then we see Renee Paquette backstage interviewing the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, MJF, and, and uh, they ask about Adam Cole. And MJF was like, he didn't talk to Adam Cole. And then he starts talking about Juice Robinson. He says that he hopes that Juice Robinson wins the Battle Royale because he says that he's going to want to face him one-on-one. -on -one put his right hand with the ring against his left hand with the quarters and punch him right dead in the face and have his blood all over the ring and everything. And he says that his blood is not going to be on his hands because of Juice Robinson. It's going to be on his hands because of Jay White. So, yeah, uh, that's what MJF said. Great stuff. But then all of a sudden we see the AEW Trios Tag Team Champions, Max Caster, Anthony Bowens, and Billy Gunn. The acclaim come up in uh, at Max Caster was talking about he will help MJF like have an eight man tag team match against Bullet Club Gold. MJF did not want to listen to him and he closed down the scissoring and all that stuff. And then he walks away and uh, Anthony Bones tells Max like he was playing too much and all that stuff. And then Billy Gunn was like, Man, that is a douchebag. And uh, that is a scumbag. And uh, Max Caster was like, Yeah, but that's my scumbag. So yeah, uh, that's what happened there. Pretty good, funny stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later. Until then.